graphing lines. In this example, we have 3x minus 2y equals 4. And the first thing we're going to do with this line is we're going to solve for y and put it, it in what we call slope-intercept form. So we solve for y. And the first thing I do is I bring the x term to the other side and it becomes negative 3x plus 4. And on this side, we have negative 2y. We wish to get rid of the negative 2, so we divide every term by negative 2, in which case we'll get w positive 1y here, just y. And this will be negative 3 over negative 2. And this will be 4 over negative 2. Um, this uh, reduces to just a 3 halves, positive 3 halves. And this becomes negative 2. Now we have the line in what we call slope-intercept form. And, and this is a good form to kind of make a few guesses about what this line is going to look like. That is, I, I look at this number here, this plus 3 halves. And that's the slope of the line. We often write that as m equals 3 halves. Okay? And what that means, since it's a positive number, is that the line is going to go uphill. Not a very good line there, but you get the idea, right? It's heading uphill. And this negative 2 says it's going to hit the y-axis at negative 2. The next thing we want to do is plot a few points and then finally graph the line. So that's what I'm going to do next. And I'm arbitrarily going to pick a few points that I think will be easy to calculate when I put them in for x. I'm going to pick 0, 2, because when I put 2 in for x, it'll cancel that 2, and negative 2 for the same reason. So let me move this over a bit here. OK. And over here, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put 0 in first. So what I do is I go, what, 3 halves times 0 uh, minus 2. And of course, this term just goes to 0, so my, my value is negative 2 here. So when x equals 0, y equals negative 2. Now I'm going to put 2 in and do the same thing. thing. I'm going to go 3 halves uh, with a negative 2 in here, uh, minus 2. And let's see what I get. Well, the 2's cancel, and I'm left with negative 3 uh, minus 2. And I end up with negative 5. So when x is negative 2, y equals negative 5. And I did this one. I probably should have done 2, but I did that one. OK. Now I'm going to try it with 2. So I go 3 halves. OK. Uh, put a 2 in here. Minus 2. And of course, the 2's cancel. I get 3 minus 2 is 1. So I get a 1 here. So now I've plotted three points. And, and I've, I've determined three points on this line. And now I'm going to plot these points and graph the line. So let's go over to a graph here. Here we are. And there's our points, 0 and negative 2, 2 and 1, and negative 2 and 5. And I should have a paren around it. I don't have a parenthesis around that, do I? OK. And there's our function in its original form, our line in its original form. So 0 and negative 2 will be right here. OK. Uh, 2 and 1, 1, 2, and 1 will be right here. And negative 2, negative 1, 2, and negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be right here. OK? Now, uh, I'm going to uh, graph this line. I'm going to run a line through these three points. OK? And that's what I'm going to try and do here. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, I'll try and make it as, let's see how I can do it. Let's give this a try here. That looked pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty much through the three points. Kind of missed them a little bit. But there it is. Sorry about that. Uh, let me make it a little bit. There we go. That's pretty good. And there's my line, OK? And then I can put an arrow on this side and an arrow on this side, meaning it goes on forever. Not a perfect line, but it should be, you know, imagine that it is. OK, and three points there. And any other points I would get, I could plot 100 points using this function by putting in various values of x, and they would all fall on this line. And notice that we had a slope of what? Was it positive 3 halves? Notice it is going uphill. Uh, and notice it did hit the x, uh, the y-axis, excuse me, at negative 2. There's the y-intercept right there.